In the middle of a quiet neighborhood, a young dog chases its tail. Round and round it spins, but it always comes up just short of the mark. In the distance, an older, wiser dog watches intently. Days go by, and the young dog is unrelenting. Finally, the old dog has seen enough. So he wanders over to the young dog, and he says, Dog, I need to ask, why do you insist on chasing your tail day after day after day? The young dog looks up and says, Surely one as wise as you has heard that happiness is in a dog's tail. So it stands to reason that if I can catch my tail, well, happiness will be mine. The old dog pauses and considers his response. Then he says, happiness is in a dog's tail, but you've got it backwards. Stop running in circles, let your tail alone, and you'll find that happiness follows you wherever you go. Now, I wanted to open with this parable because I think it says a great deal about modern living. I see many people today metaphorically chasing their own tails, scurrying about in a sort of mad pursuit of success. And often, like the young dog, they too seem to come up just short of the mark. And that's the funny thing about success. It always seems to be around the next corner. Once I get that new job, that promotion, that bigger house, that faster car. Ours is a culture that perpetuates a myth that success is something you can possess. It's the brass ring. And those with enough talent and education and strength need only reach out and take hold of it. But has it ever struck you that a great many so-called successful people seem miserable? They can have fame, fortune, awards, and accolades, and still, it's not enough. Why is this? If you ask me, it's because success cannot be attained in this way. When it comes to success, I turn to Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl, many of you will know, was a Holocaust survivor. He witnessed and endured unspeakable atrocities and yet somehow emerged to become a leading thinker in matters of the human spirit. He was a psychiatrist, an academic, and a writer. In his great book, Man's Search for Meaning, he says some very, very profound things, including this. And quote, collectors, I'm giving you a heads up in advance. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you're going to miss it. Now, I love this quote. I love it because it forces us to deal with a sort of Zen paradox. The more you aim, the more you will miss. This seems to fly in the face of the logic we have been trained to believe when it comes to success. Namely, set your sights and claim your prize. How can this be? Well, if you take one thing away from these four minutes, maybe it's this. Success is a byproduct. It cannot and will not be found through any direct means. Once again, Viktor Frankl captures it best. Success, like happiness, cannot be pursued. It must ensue. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. So in the end, success is a side effect. It happens while you're doing something else. So don't chase it. Even when it seems it's just around the next corner, let it go. Go instead where your heart and your conscience compel you. Dedicate yourself to something greater than yourself. Do something that matters. Do it with passion and conviction and for the right reasons. And as for results, let them take care of themselves. If you do this, I'm convinced that success will follow you.